Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam yasala. Koholoyim la yahawo bahashim yawashai bahashim rakahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. We just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hananda Waf. It's coming at you with another quick lesson, friend, that is edifying by the Spirit. I just wanted to touch on a couple of articles. I got one right here. It says 90 year old veteran is shot and deleted and then run over outside retirement home during carjacking. Yeah, boy, that's pretty damn brutal. 90 year old, you know they're frail. You can see, you know. Some 90-year-olds year be in pretty okay shape for their ages, but, you know, it's not all there. But you can see U.S. Navy veterans, so you know these, these Edomites are pissed about this type of shit. You go into the comment board, right? It says the suspect dumped N um, Nielsen's car approximately 10 minutes after the attack, and is currently still at large. So you done all that to take the car for 10 minutes. I guess they probably it probably dawned on them, like, you know, well, let me get the fuck out of here because of... I'm sure they have the description of the car is going to get me caught, whatever, whatever. But anyway, the point that I wanted to make is we don't even really have to go too far into these, you know, as far as the stories. Let's get um, Matthew chapter 24. One of the things that Yahweh Shah spoke of. And we keep bringing this out, man, because you had to walk circumspectly out here. You got to pray. First off, you need to be praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And having faith that what you're praying, you know, praying for is is, is going to come to pass, you know what I'm saying? And not be um, doubtful or wavering in your mind, you know what I'm saying? But pray for the protection and safety over your over you and your household, man. Pray for the protection and safety of, of you know, when you're out and about, no matter where you go. It's nothing, to, it's nothing to throw up a quick prayer, man. I say that all the time. It's nothing to say a quick prayer to you. How about Shema Shai? You know? 30 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, you can say a prayer, man. And this guy, you know, I'm not sure if he's a Edomite or not, you know, because we don't go by skin color. Um, you, if you come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are an Israelite, and that's that, you know. And if these, these scriptures resonate with your spirit, then you are an Israelite, because it's not going to resonate with no other um, heathen nation, because the Lord didn't give it to any heathen nations to um, resonate with them. They're not going to get it or understand it like that, you know. They, they, they can't fathom that the Lord chose a people over all the other nations, even though the scripture says that. And they can be a Bible thumping theologian Christian straight out of a, a Ramo Bible school. <laughs> you know, they, 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 they just don't get it, you know, because they've been. The Lord has really just placed a, a blinders over their eyes, man. They, they not, they're just not going to get it. But this is Matthew 24 and 3. And he reads, um, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? So this is talking about end days prophecies. What will be happening? Right? And it says, and Yahawashai, well, we call him, we say Yahawashai because that's his name. Now, verbatim, for any of those that don't know, the world ignorantly calls him Jesus. But his name is Yahawashai, which means he's the savior or deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. There are no letter J's in Hebrew. The letter J was actually invented in 1524, 500 years ago. So if the Lord walked the earth 2000 years ago, you got to do the math there, man. They couldn't have been calling him Jesus because there was no letter J. There was a, there, there was no English language back then. So you got to go into the key words and look up these words in um, the Hebrew, Greek, Latin, um, languages that were spoken at the time to get a full understanding of what the scriptures are really saying but you can go off into the scriptures and if you just go into you know a few of the uh like say for instance um you can go into the strongs they have um jesus g2424 and if you go off into it right of the hebrew origin so it'll take you to the hebrew origin which is h3091 See, they had Jehoshua, but then we know that there's no J. Matter of fact, there's no letter E, there's no letter O, there's no letter U, no letter V in the Hebrew alphabet. And when you see Jesus, see, the letter I was being um, used instead of the letter J at the time. 
That was a Greek transliteration. Is Zeus. That's Greek. The Lord was not a Grecian. He was not Greek. He was a Hebrew Israelite. The angel Gabriel gave the name to give him. It's Yahweh's side. So H3091 going into the Hebrew origin is simple. You go back into it. See, if you get rid of these E's, O's, U's, and all this shit, you know. But if you read it and it, see, those Israelis, they added what you call vowel points to the um, the Hebrew. And you don't need vowel points. That's where you get your letter J, E, O, U, V, and all those sounds from. But if you were to read it the way that the ancient Paleo-Hebrew is read, it would be Yahawashai, which means he saves. See, you can see it right there. And they got all these different names to confuse people. That, that This is confusion. Because they clearly know what the name is. All right? So, and the true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that he exists He exists with the existing one. I actually was um, driving to work a little while ago, and I seen somebody had on their plate, license plate, he is. And I knew what they were, you know, I, I, you know, I, I took it as a, a sign of I know what they were trying to do or say, but they probably don't even know. That the real name of the father is Yahweh, which means he is, you know, but I didn't want to, you know, jump off subject. But let's get back to what Yahweh said will be happening in the um, end days, because we got to explain this, man. A lot of newcomers are coming into this truth and they don't really they don't know these things. They don't know how to actually connect it or go into actually um, studying it and proving it. I just showed you, you know, that, you know, you go to the Hebrew origin. Right. Very important. Because these names are very important. You can't just call the Lord what you want to call him, man. And Yahweh answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. Right? So let me just jump straight to the point because this is one of the things that he mentioned in um, verse 12, right? I'm going to get it in the BBE. It says, and because wrongdoing will be increased, the love of most people will become cold. In the easy to read version ERV, it says there will be there 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 will there will so much more evil in the world that the love of most believers will grow cold. And because there um, um, the good word translation says and because there will be more and more lawlessness, most people's love will grow cold. Yep. But in the KJV, it says and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So. That's pretty much what it is. You 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 a cold blooded ass uh, heathen man, it, it, you know doing shit like this to um, the elderly like that, having simply you know no regard for the elderly man. Ninety year old veteran, isn't this a man that supposedly fought for your country? You know, you should be uh uh you know and wasn't it just uh what was it, Veterans Day? What what was it yesterday? Labor Day? Some crazy. I don't know man. I'll be keeping up with no holidays anyway. Sad situation, and you know people are pissed. Let's get a couple of these comments, and I'll go to the next article. Carjacking isn't a local problem; it's a national one. Oh well, you know, hey, when you have a wicked people running things, man, you know, um, lawlessness is going to run rampant. That just is what it is. And Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he doesn't know how to run no kingdom, man. This man is running his place into the ground. That's hey, you. You have to pray in this man's kingdom. Anything can can spark off. Or jump off in this man's kingdom at any point in the game. You can be somewhere. Matter of fact, it was just a shooting that killed a 14 year old. And um, uh, I'm not sure if the other person um, died or whatever, whatever. But right at the damn state fair. Here you go. You got kids out there just trying to ride some bullshit rides. Eat some little cotton candy and shit. The motherfuckers is out there springing out the pistol, man. Because the love of many is waxing cold, man. Anyway, it says carjacking should be a federal chargeable offense. Starting with 50 years minimum when convicted, death penalty if the, if the victim dies during or succumbs to injuries due to the carjacking. All carjacking suspects charged as adults. If individual under the age of 18 still charge them as adults, but hold them in juvenile detention until 18, then send them to the big house. Why send them to the big house? No, so what, uh, motherfuckers should be out of here. So you, so you still got sympathy for these, 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 these goddamn monsters. No, they monsters, man. If, if, if Esau was keeping the scriptures, he claims he's a Christian nation. If he was really keeping the scriptures, then all this shit wouldn't be happening because we had laws to put somebody down like this, man. 
It says this deceased veteran was a thousand times the man of that low life, ignorant fool who took his life. May he rest in peace. May his family find comfort. May justice find the, the thing uh, shameful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, you never can <laughs> never can tell, man. What this uh, this Edomite have been here for, for, for damn near a century. And he goes back to the times of, uh, of damn near slavery. So he could have been. You know, no telling what kind of lifestyle he lived, man. Just, you know, live long ass time. Because see, the Lord will get the Lord will get at you. Eventually he'll get at you. And none of us know the time, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Because this man could have done all kinds of shit in the past 70 years, 80 years. You know? And all that iniquity on his ass is adding up. All the all the bullshit that he's done through our ain't no telling cheating people, probably done rob people, probably like I said, ain't no telling how he treated Israelites throughout his life. He probably and he's living in Houston. He's probably a, a well known damn racist. I'm just me just me speaking as a man, but you just never know. But we know that Job four and seven. Let's get it real quick. No one dies being innocent. Remember, I prayed thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? And then you already know, if he went to war, he could have been in a couple of those wars. You know what I'm saying? If he went to war, you know Esau not doing people right, man, when they go to war. They be all acting as if they got, you know, um, international courts and, you know, war crimes um, um, inspect in, in, investigators. And, man, Esau, it, it, everything you've ever done on the planet has been a war crime. And again, like I said, man, you know, these Edomites around this age right here, they come from that real age limit of really hating your ass. Prayers for the family, death to the perpetrator, hopefully something extremely long and painful. Wood chipper at low RPMs, little bitch, 90 year old man, big bad ass. See, this is how they feel when it comes to their own. Absolutely sickening. What a sad story. This man does everything right. And in the end, goes out like this. See, well, well, how do you know he done everything right? You don't know this man. You don't know this man when he was in. Hey, before you was well born, he could have done committed all kinds of crimes. This person says so senseless. My own great grandparents were murdered in 1954 in a small town in northern New Hampshire, close to the Canadian border, and no one has ever been held accountable. Rumors has it that a cousin bragged about committing the crime for their small amount of money. They were in their 70s, but small time America back then didn't have the resources they do now. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go to the next article. We, we ain't tripping on no shit like that eh? because and, and we don't we don't, we, you know, give a shit about Esau, man. If he's a damn Edomite, because he's going to he's going to be born back into the kingdom as a slave anyway. Now, you got this guy right here. Uh, it says a dog walker, 80. He's 80 years old, kicked to death in park attacked and named as girls 12 among five children arrested over murder see and these goddamn kids wild as hell bro i'm hey that's why we tell you walk circumspectly i think he might be um he's kind of looking like elon maybe one of those east indians or something like that ben sent sin by him son Koli. But he's been here 40 years. And see, these people, they come here and they've been living good. Because I think they said what he owned, um, how many lots? I think they said he owned like four lots or some shit like that. So he was about 30 seconds away from getting home. He's always been very active. He has three allotments. See, we lived here for 40 years. So he's been here in the Americas living it up. Because these, these East Indians, because that appears to be what he looks like. I mean, what he is, you know, like I said, again, we don't go by appearances, but, um, you know, name, you know, and appearance, you know, we can kind of put a couple of things together. But, you know, they they come here, though, and they live pretty well. They don't live around no Jake's. They don't live around. They live around their own. They have their own um, supermarkets, their own thing going on, their own. Co pretty much they bring their culture here and they live their culture as if they were in their own country. They don't blend in as Americans. Hell, probably don't even pay no taxes like that. But he's been here 40 years, so who knows? He's probably pretty Americanized and, and, and 
probably his children are too. They go to college. They get these degrees. Matter of fact, you know, I'm at the plantation right now. I see a bunch of them. All of them are kind of like the, other than the Chinese, you know what I'm saying? They, they, they're the ones that's covering the, the, the so-called smart shit. You know, they're the ones that's, you know, the engineering heads of, of, of the place, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, there you have it, man. I, I'm not going to read all off into it, but you can clearly see, hey, these people don't have no, re these kids, motherfuckers don't have no respect for the elderly, man. This is why we tell you, um, this is why we tell you to pray, man, and to walk circumspectly out here. Let's get that real quick, because these days are very evil, man. It says, see then that you, um, uh, Ephesians 5 and 15, Salakia, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. You got to be wise, man. It's not even safe to go out for a morning walk. Look at that shit, man. He's walking his dog. I'm not sure how, what kind of dogs he was walking because normally a dog, you know, will, you know, go into a protection mode of an owner. So obviously, you know, it must, it, he must have been walking maybe a small ass, ch you know, whatever. Who knows? It should have been walking a pit, man. And they probably wouldn't have ran up on your ass. 80 years old, though. They said, that, you know, the, uh, the daughter was explaining that, you know, they was kicking him all in the head and spine and neck and shit. So, you know, and like I said, again, man, you can clearly see that, man. He's pretty pr he's pretty frail already. But. We mentioned that because we always say I was listening to the apostle yesterday, Apostle Ramlod, and he was going off into um, I say it all the time myself. But it's, it's just common sense that the, the women, children and, and elderly are the weaker vessels in this kingdom. And that's who people are going to strike. That's who they're going to go for first, basically, unless they just see a big nigga. You know what I'm saying? And they really got something that they want. You know, he got a big ass ring on his finger. Watch. He got a couple chains. Hey, they got a gun. They'll, they'll, they'll run up on you and try you like that. But other than that, they really are looking for someone that's um, vulnerable. And that's generally the women, kids or elderly. And that's how we know that hey, in these last days is going to be real rough on that particular um, set of people. Well, let's get. Um, Second Timothy three and one. We'll start there it says this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come in a good word translation here it says you must understand this in the last days there will be violent periods of time Whew. ERV version says remember this there are some terrible times coming in the last days and he's right about that BBE but be certain of this, that in the last days, times of trouble will come. And this is it, pretty much all these translations are are running it down. This one says um, the RV version. But know this, that in the last days, grievous times shall come. Yeah, man. Hey, yeah, it's about to get about to go down out here. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. That list right there, Dave's off almost everybody you can run across damn near. Especially if they're not into the, the, this word, man. They're not into these scriptures. They don't know the, the true name of the father and son, Yahweh and Yahweh Sai, and they're not really sincerely going after this truth. Then they, 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 they some fucking heathens, man. And even Jake, two thirds of Jake, you got to watch our own people, man. It says without natural affection, you know, a person don't have no natural affection, man. If you, 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 you know, not only do you carjack the man, you got, why did you have to, you know, why did you have to, you know, uh, um, deleting without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce. See, it's some very fierce people here, man. Even these kids, I'm telling you, I was just, um, I done a video last week of these, it was five girls on the subway. Five young ladies, I think they was, you know, anywhere from the age of 16 to 20. But, you know, they was they uh, they ended up um, beating up this, um, this. Like, I think he was like 80 years old. He was just on the bench in the damn subway and they just whooped on him. And this shit happened like about two o'clock in the morning. So you got these wild ass wildebeests out here all day and, you know, 24 hours a day. You got to be watchful, man. 
I seen a video yesterday and shit of, of two chicks and shit setting a guy up to um, rob him, man. They was acting like one of the, the girls was sick. Something was wrong with her or something. Had, I think, you know, maybe she had been attacked. They was acting like that. And, the, you know, the one girl, you know, the one that was acting that way, you know, she kind of sat down on the ground, acting like she was crying while her uh, while her other girl was kind of holding her arm. Like she I guess she was asking for help. This guy come out of nowhere to help. And the one chick walked behind him while he's trying to help the, the so-called chick that's been assaulted or whatever. And, and, and this bitch stabbed him in the back, man. The other girl that was acting like she was fucked up, she got up and they 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 ran his pockets, man. They took his wallet. You know, they took his wallet out, took his money. Um, um, the one chick, she was trying to snatch his watch off. She was having a, a little problems getting his watch off. When well, she eventually got the watch off and they just went to rambling through all his pockets, man, and, and, and ran away. Fine little chicks, too, because one of them was thick as fuck. <laughs> she was, uh, that must have been what got him, you know what I'm saying? Because the one chick that was, you know, that was acting like, you know, that was pretty much the one that stabbed him. She had on, had on them ass shorts, man, with them cheeks out. She was thick as shit, too. I guess he must have took that beauty. <laughs> you know, they weren't bad looking chicks in the video. I'm thinking like, you know, a camera caught them, though. So what can you say, man? You got to be careful out here. That's why we said to walk circumspectly and to pray to you. How about your mouth side? Can't trust these people, man. It's coming to a point where shit, you can barely trust your family members now, but it's coming to a point where you're really not going to be able to trust them. Yep, but it says without natural affection, man. Fierce. But anyway, I just wanted to just touch on that. Um, God damn, here go another article. Let's see what this one says. Ten-year-old boy confessed to killing former Louisiana mayor and his daughter. God damn. A 10-year-old boy? Joe Cornelius Sr., 82, see? And Keisha Miles, 31, were found deleted Sunday morning after officers were dispatched to Cornelius' home in the city of Minden. I'm not sure what the hell it is that. A 10-year-old, bro. Yep, he confessed to the, it says he confessed to the fatal shooting. See, this is what I'm talking about. A goddamn 10-year-old? Man, you know you in the last days. <laughs> and that's the spirit. While I'm speaking on this, this damn this this top this story pops up and comes into my feed. It says that um yep, they identified the boy as a relative, but declined to provide additional details. This is what I just said. I literally just said that. By the spirit, man. That's the spirit. I literally just said that you that you can barely trust your family members now. So just think when shit get really rough. A goddamn ten year old? What happened to the nigga playing a you know, maybe too many damn video games? I was just about to say what happened to him sitting down playing some video games. Maybe, you know, too many violent ones, man. What you know, ten year old? Man, ten year old man out trying to ride a bike or something, man, or you know? Nah, I guess not these ones these days. It depends on where you at. Throwing a damn football or something. You know what I'm saying? Out, you know. A ten year old? Bro, I'm telling you, man. I let you know where we are. Let's see what the comments are on this when I end out. It says, how, why, or for what reason would a 10-year-old kill? Yeah, because you living in America. This is Babylon the Great. Matter of fact, let me get one more. This one comes to mind. This is Esau's kingdom. This is what happens when wicked people run, run, run a kingdom, man. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Shit will turn into chaos. It's been nothing but chaos over and over and over and over again since this man has been in power over these past these these centuries that he's been in power, man. That even goes back to um it was that uh Alexander the Great when he uh uh you know ended up spreading his kingdom amongst those, his four generals. It says that um wickedness uh uh, uh grew in the earth. <laughs> Them damn Edomites got in power, man, and shit went straight downhill. And it's been that way since they've been in power. Let's get uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. See? That's what's happening. That's what's going on. That's what's really going on out here. The 
TPT version says, everyone rises when everyone rejoices when the lovers of God flourish. But the people groan when the wicked rise to power. Yeah, man. You don't have no choice because, I mean, they, they, they don't, they're not capable of running anything right because they're wicked, man. They're, they're distorted. They're perverse, man. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, that motherfucker is perverse as ever, man. You're not going to get no more perverse, perverse than that, man. And he'll put his hands on the fucking Bible and act as if he's he's righteous. This motherfucker stole this whole continent all in the name of sweet white baby Jesus, you know, and, and claims to be a Christian nation. You know, have you come to court, swear in on the Bible, tell the truth, whole truth, number of truth, all that silly shit. And this motherfucker, don't, he don't keep nothing in the scriptures. And matter of fact, the Bible says that. Let's get on Psalms 50. <laughs> Damn, the BBE says, but to the sinner, God says, what are you doing talking about talking to my laws or taking the word of my agreement in your mouth? <laughs> Seeing that you have no desire for my teaching, turning your back on my words. Damn, that's the BBE. Let me see. The ERV says, but God says to the wicked, stop quoting my laws. Stop talking about my agreement. You hate me. You hate for me to tell you what to do. You ignore what I say. You see a thief and run. To, you see a thief and run and join him. Run to join him. You jump into bed with those who commit adultery. You say evil things and tell lies. <laughs> That's Esau, man. <laughs> That's fucking Esau, bro. You can't get around it, man. That's him, man. I'm fucking don't do nothing but lie about every damn thing, man. He get on TV, got that suit and tie on, looking weird as hell. And people catching on now, too. People starting to see um, who the wicked really is, man. Because the scripture says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not wearing who is he. He's the one running the earth. Isn't his laws on the book? Aren't Isn't he the one that's writing the laws? That, that were, Now, what, they, what are they about to do with this 10-year-old? His little ass supposed to be taken out of here. But you had these people in America here, these so-called Christians. Uh, well, he's only 10 and he didn't know what he was really into and he didn't know what he was really doing. You know, whatever, whatever. It put his ass into a little juvenile spot. He'll spend them eight years there until he turns 18. And they'll go, you know, catch and release his ass. Unless he's a Jake, because this don't sound like no Jake shit here. This is this not sounding like some black people shit here this is sounding like edomite shit all all day a 10 year old he didn't he didn't he didn't knocked off the 82 year old let's go back let's see here and i'm gonna end out man this shit is retarded but this lets you know what day and time we're in the lord said to measure thou the time diligently in itself he says to watch and pray what are we watching for we're watching and praying or we're watching for what he said will be happening you don't think that this is it how much more fucking wicked or can this place get, man? I mean, like, come on, you really think, say this 10 year old, this gener that generation, he grows up to have some kids. What the fuck you think them kids going to be like? They're going to be treacherous, too, even more treacherous. Then just think about another generation. Are you serious? Man, the Lord is about to torch this place, man, because it needs it. It's the only way to get things back in order. It needs to be cleansed. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man must be taken out of power. As long as this man is in power, everybody talking about these problems that's going on in the world. From overpriced food to, to, to the, the health of, the, of a person, obesity, I don't give a fuck what it is. The source of it, if you want to get straight down to the boogie, it's Esau, man. And he got to go for any of those things to be eradicated. Because as long as he's in power, he's going to continually destroy the fucking earth. I'm looking in the sky right now, man. Ain't number fucking um shit that look like clouds. Do we know not clouds? Cause clouds don't form the way that this shit is in this day. All they do is fly goddamn jets over this bitch all damn day long and 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 and, and let go whatever they letting go. But it's just his whole way of, of ruling, man, is just is wicked, man. So the Israelites must come back into power, starting from, you know, of course, um Yahweh, then his son Yahweh Shai, of course. You know, when 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 the Israelites come back into power, things are going to be ran with righteousness, man. The place is going to be cleaned up. You see. 
It's not going to be no damn drugs, no adultery, no fucking uh, kids running around killing a 10-year-old. Get the hell out of here, man. You stone that motherfucker to death back in the ancient days, man. And Esau not going to make no examples of any of them, neither. You know, you make they'll, they'll say it's inhumane if they if somebody if they were to put this little fucker up against the wall and fire squad his ass. But what about the two people that he killed? There shouldn't there be blood for blood, life for life? Ain't that what the, what the scriptures say? Esau, you Christians? But we know how this man gets down. Because he stole this whole place. He raped, robbed, and pillaged. He killed millions and millions and millions of native, so-called Native American Indians. Then he came to the west coast of Africa, kidnapped, kidnapped us, brought us here, killed millions and millions and millions of us. And then he set up courtrooms and shit like he's going to give out real justice. Imagine that the criminals got the fuck got got courtrooms uh, uh, calling out justice, man, as if they're just crazy, bro. And that shows you how wicked he is. That's what that, that Psalms 50 was just talking about. Hey, you 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 rape, rob and pillage and, and, and you got my book. What are you doing with it? You don't keep nothing in it. You got all this blood on your hands. and You standing there holding holding my my covenant, my book and trying to act as if you're a part of it. Get the hell out of here, man. Anyway, just another example here. So many out there, hey, I pray that this lesson was um, edifying. With that, Kwame Yashola on the Bible Bar.